An Austin hiker who was crushed by a boulder underwent a long surgery today. Zachary Underwood was geocaching in the Barton Creek Greenbelt Tuesday when a 30-pound rock fell on his chest. His injuries are extensive and his recovery will be a long one. Cake Saints David Scott joins us live from UMC Brackenridge where he spoke with Underwood's girlfriend who's maintaining a bedside vigil there. David? I can't really remember anything. I just had a boulder fall on my chest, ma'am. Oh, I can feel everything move. Sorry, I'm about to pass out. Then the nurse came jogging by and got on the call while Underwood tried to maintain consciousness. He might be bleeding from inside. That's what worries me because he's sipping up blood. Zachary Underwood's treasure hunting trek had turned into a nightmare. His smartphone GPS led EMS to him. Mike Kiddock was the first responder and saw the 30 pound boulder. Oh, that big? The fact that he knew where he was, yes, um, that was very helpful. Starflight took Zach to the hospital. His fiance says he broke 13 ribs, a lacerated liver, a punctured diaphragm, and ruptured spleen, which was removed. Thursday, reconstructive surgery on his chest. They put three plates into his chest to reconstruct the ribs on the left side that he destroyed. And uh, the surgeon said that he's just got a long road of recovery left. And um, he's doing great. Adding insult to injury, the motorbike Zach had parked near the trail is missing. It is a $2,200 black Honda Ruckus scooter that is his sole means of transportation. Tamara believes his GPS smartphone saved his life. I believe in my heart that Zach saved his own life with that, with his quick thinking and was able to stay calm and pick up the phone and call 911 for himself because if he hadn't have done that, the doctor said that he lost three liters of blood when they opened him up and he would have bled out right there on the trail. Tonight, Zachary is on a ventilator to help him breathe. He is also heavily sedated as he's been all week. They don't want him thrashing about, causing any more internal injuries. They hope to get him off the ventilator in three or four days. Tamara can't wait to speak with him, and they hope to get him home in about a week. And that's when rehab begins. At Brackenridge, David Scott, KXA in Austin News.